Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. And this is March Magnificent. Today we're going to talk about the omnipotence of God. Omnipotent. He is omnipotent. Um, first scripture we're going to do is Genesis the 18th chapter and the 14th verse. It says, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Um, there's nothing too hard for God. I don't care what it is. He said there is nothing new under the sun. Been there, done that. He already knows. There's nothing too hard. I don't care what the doctor says, what the lawyer says. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. And when the appointed time comes... He will do what he said he will do. Okay? It's not my time because remember his thoughts are not my thoughts. It's not the way I want it. Remember, his ways are not our ways. But he is omnipotent. That means he is all powerful. Okay? He has all power in his hands. Jeremiah 27 and 5 says, I have made the earth, this earth, this whole earth, the man and the beast, that are on the ground by my great power and by my outstretched hand and have given it to whom it seemed proper to me, to God. He gave it to who he felt like he wanted to give it to. You know, we probably talk about this. Like God is the sovereign like God. You know, he's the creator of the universe. He's creator of you and me. He's creator of everything. Yeah, we might go and make something, you know, make a table out of the wood or the trees that he created. But God is the original creator of everything, okay? And he did it by his power and his outstretch. That's why they say he's uncomprehensible. Unc it's like, how did he create the earth and, and Mars and Pluto? And the moon and the sun and how did he create? We can't even begin to fathom it. But the word tells us he just said, let there be. And it was. God is all powerful. Matthew 19, 26 says, but Jesus looked at them and said to them, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. He didn't say some things are possible. Just a few things are possible. He said all things are possible. There's nothing that's too hard for him. Your situation, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're struggling with, it's not hard for God. All he got to do is speak a word. And that thing is, your whole life can be turned around in an instant. Okay? Snap of a finger. Instantaneously. Why? Because there is nothing that's too hard for the Lord. We just have to trust in Him. We have to seek His face. We have to pray to Him and ask Him to help us. We have not because we ask not. You know, give us the grace to deal with whatever it is that we deal, we're dealing with. But we need to understand that there is nothing too hard for God. You can let people know these scriptures. I'll have them down in the in the in the subject box. So if you want to share with somebody else who's struggling, look, let them know. Genesis eighteen fourteen. Ask the question: Is anything too hard for the Lord? And at the appointed time, He said, "I will return to you according to the time of life and do what I said I was going to do." Okay, in this case. Sarah was going to be with a child in her old age at 90-something years old. Now, can you imagine that? <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm in now. You all have a wonderful afternoon. Don't forget to, not hit, forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Hey, share this with your friends because all of us need to be encouraged sometime. You know, each one ought to help one, ought to teach one. We got to get this word out. And the only way it can happen is with you letting your actions be seen and your voices be heard. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.